bless you bless you in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth uh my name is supposed to peter daniel by the grace of god you are watching me in live program heaven and hell the one we used to do every monday to uh friday every monday to friday 9 a.m to 10 30 by the grace of god uh today we are going into study a serious study a serious message from the lord before we go down let's pray our everlasting father we want to bless your name we want to give you all glory honor power and majesty we want to appreciate you because you are faithful more faithful in all things without glorified and exalted in the mighty name of jesus our lord and our god we ask you jesus that you speak to us in this message you will release your anointing you will release your fire you will release your spirit you will give us the, 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 the insight of your word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We ask you, Holy Spirit of God, to, 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 to bring to us the deep things that is not known to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Amen. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, today, we are going to talk about the shift and see title in the church and why and uh, can a woman be called a pastor in the church we are treating errors in the church errors in the church that is what we are treating errors in the church is the theme of the message errors in the church and the topic we are treating today is shift and see title in the church and and a woman be called a can a woman be called a pastor in the church i pray the lord bless you in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth there are many proofs that is going to go into the bible we are going to show in the Bible many proof about uh, uh, the women and about the title that uh, uh, is in the in the Bible. So, and this error we are teaching today. Is one of the rich not making ever. Christians are not making ever. You, uh, you might be living a perfect life and a holy life. But don't forget all the law. If you are holy in all the law, If you are perfect in all the law, but in one place you make mistakes, in one place you make mistakes, he said, You are guilty of all. You do understand now? It means if everything that is in the Bible you kept it well, but in one area you are making mistakes. That's what the Bible said in James chapter 2, verse 10. He said, You are guilty of all. Now, we want to treat the titles in the church and why people uh, should be very careful with the title. The judgment that will be for the people who are carrying the title and the kind of uh, uh, activity that is going on in the church. In the book of Ephesians chapter 4, Ephesians chapter 4, verses, uh, verses uh, uh, 11, we come to see that the actual gift of the spirit that is directly given from Jesus Christ to the people to the church, which are titles. And the titles are in that verse 11. He said, and he gave some apostles. He gave some apostles and he gave some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers 
And uh, he said, 12, he said, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edificating, edificating of the body of Christ. That was the, the main title that Jesus Christ gave to the body of Christ for the edification. He, he has said it that he said for the perfection of the saints, for the work of the ministry, and for the edifications, for the edification of the church. So these are the gifts that came from uh, the, 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 the title that came directly from Jesus Christ to the church. Now, we got to find out that after Jesus Christ has ascended, there are other titles that was also uh, mentioned in the Bible. They are also mentioned in the Bible in the book of Acts. We come to see that there are the title that was also presented directly from the apostles to the body uh, of, of Christ, to one of the body of Christ. And the Bible call it the titles are the, the, the titles are deaconess and deacon. But mainly they mention deacon. Why we pray? And out of the deacons that they appointed in the Act of Apostles, then Act of Apostles chapter six, then uh, we got to know that uh, Stephen was part of the deacons they appointed. They appointed in the church in that time. Stephen was part of them in that time, and. Uh, you all know the story of Stephen that before he was appointed, they have to appoint those who are spiritually filled in, with the Holy Ghost. Another place we also see titles are uh, also in the book of uh, 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 Titus, whereby they talk about uh, the bishop, I think a title, uh, Timothy or so, talk about the bishop, the, the, the post of bishop, the post of bishop. But all these things are not, Jesus Christ was not the one who gave this title. Rather, it was, it came from the apostles, apostles, apostles who gave the titles. That's First Timothy chapter 3, talking about bishop of a thing. That if anyone is willing to be a bishop, there the, the, the are things that were there. Then another another title was that was also in the Bible. It came out from elders. We talk about elders there. Elder. We also saw Dickens also in the First Timothy. Then out of elders also was also given to in the Bible. Out of these laws. We all believe, and that is the truth of the fact that anything in the Bible is scriptural, which we must practice. Anything out of the scriptures should never be practiced for any reasons. The, the post of bishop uh, of, of a pope is not biblical. Why the post of a CAC, a national post, the one they used to call uh uh babai jo they call it babai jo they call it uh mamai jo all those kind of posts are not biblical and any pastors that give a post to anybody any pastor that give a post to anybody without god's own instructions shall pay dearly for it because church is a divine is a divine something that jesus has to pay for his blood for is the, if there is any post you are giving to anybody, any post you are giving to anybody, and I repeat, any post you are giving to anybody, you shall pay dearly for it. You shall pay dearly for it. That is the instructions of God Almighty to the church. 
The reason is because church is not your own personal investment. It's not a business center. It is a house of God. Everything that must go in the house of God must be consulted and must be directly from God. We want to talk about the reverend, the title of reverend. Reverend, people who are bearing reverend are under God's cause. The reason is this. Reverend is derived from the book of Psalm 111. Psalm 111, I think verse 9 or so. Psalm 111. That is where the reverend is derived. And when they mention it there, it was only the name of God. They were talking to God in that place. Any pastor, any pastor that is bearing reverend, any man bearing reverend, I too reverend. Can never meet. I repeat. Any pastor bearing reverend, bearing reverend can never and never meet ever. Any pastor. Bearing reverend cannot meet heaven to everyone that is bearing reverend. The Lord will bless us in the mighty. This is a big warning to house of God, to the house of God. I'm warning the people today. According to the word of God, word of God, that anyone should not call himself reverend. Anyone should not call himself reverend. Anyone that anybody that called him, if you call yourself reverend, you are bearing the name of God and you are going to pay seriously for that. You are going to pay seriously for that. Reverend is a name of God. It's the only name of God. The name is the meaning of reverend is the most only a reverend person and god is the only one i remember there was a particular story of a man of god that uh, i heard about a man of god a man of god his name is a reverend he used to call himself reverend and this man of god is a holiness preacher you know when we're talking about holiness preacher it means somebody who so much uh uh priest and uh, preach holiness messages this man of God is a holiness preacher, and uh, one day he slept, and in the process he died. He slept, and in the process he died. When he died in the process, he saw himself. He saw himself. His spirit was going to the place of judgment, and he said, as he was, as his spirit was going to the place of judgment, suddenly he saw the Lord Jesus Christ also coming from heaven. He saw Jesus Christ also coming from heaven. And uh, as he saw Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ said, who are you? He now mentioned his name. He said, my name is Reverend this and that. And Jesus Christ said, what do you say you have? He now said, my name is Reverend this and that. He now said, as he mentioned that name, the eyes of Jesus Christ turned to red, fire. He said, how dare you? Bearing my name, how dare you? How dare you? Bearing my name, who are you to bear my name? He said, Jesus Christ was shouting at him that how dare him bear his own name. And as he was saying that, he, he said, the anger of the Lord just sent him back to hell. He woke up. Immediately, he began to tell the people to start calling him um, ordinary pastor that is no more a reverend. What am I trying to say is that reverend is not part of the title that God has called and mentioned for any Christian to bear. It is only mentioned in one place in the Bible. It is only one place that is a reverend title is mentioned in the Bible, and anybody that be a reverend is going to pay for it, is going to pay seriously for it. Anybody that be a reverend 
is going to pay seriously for it. So no one should bear reverend. If you are bearing reverend, if you die today, no evil for you. No evil for you. So it is better you do the rightful and the needful now before it is too late. I pray you will not go to hell in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to talk about, because of our time, I want to talk about women. Is it proper? Some people are, are asking different kind of questions. Sir, can a woman preach in the church? Can a woman be a preacher? Can a woman be, be, be for a general overseer? This and this is one of the things that uh, uh, the questions that have been asked. Number one, this is what the Bible says in the book of uh, of First Timothy chapter two. First Timothy chapter two. First Timothy chapter two. Yes, verses uh, 11. He said, let the women learn in silence with all subjection. Let the women learn in silence with all subjection. 12. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usp, usp authority over the man but to be in silence 13 in answer for adam was first form then eve 14 and adam was not deceived but the women being deceived was in the transgressions now in 15 i said notwithstanding she shall be saved in sight bearing if they continue in faith and in charity and in holiness with sobit. Now, this is what Paul said about women. Then, if we also look at uh, 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter, uh, chapter 14, chapter 14, verses uh, 35. 35, 35, now, now, he said, and if they, is talking about women here, and if they will learn anything, let them ask their husband, let's start from 34, so 34, let your women keep silent in the church, churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak. But they are commanded to be under obedience, as also said the law. 35. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husband at home, for it is a shame for woman to speak in the church. The Lord will bless us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ah. Uh, one of the reasons that Paul has to say that in the Corinthians is this. I'm going to put an enlightenment in that message so that uh, we can understand what the message is all about. In those days, the women of the Corinthians, they always have this kind of authority over their husband especially in the church they always wanted to say something if you remember in the book of art they mentioned a woman there that said that she has followers but she later turned against Paul. if you look at it in the book of art there was a kind of uh women group and leaders in the church there and they always cause confusions confusions whenever the word of god is being shared and when paul heard about this a law was a law was given to women 
not to speak in the church or to uh, to teach in the church. But this is the true and the reality matter. We are considering many facts today. Is it proper for women not to preach or teach in the church? Is it proper for women to be silent in the church? If women are to silent in the church, then why is the niche of choirs? We are going to talk more on that by the grace of God. According to the uh, to Art of Apostle, Art of Apostle, chapter 2, verses 17. Act of Apostle, chapter 2, verses 17. He said, And it shall come to pass in the last day, says God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, listen, and your sons and your daughter shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Now, it was said here that in the last day, the Lord will pour his spirit, and the women are going to prophesy. 13, 18 said, 18 said, and on, on my servant and on my head and maids, maidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit and this I prophesy. Now, the Bible is saying here that God is going to pour his spirit upon all the flesh. The women and the man are both going to prophesy. If they are going to prophesy, is it going to be in their house? Is it not going to be in the church? We are going to treat this study one after the other by the special grace of God. Uh, according to what is in the scriptures, we got to know that there are some places where women are prophesied, and it is written in the Bible that they were prophesying. Meanwhile, Paul said that women should be silent in the church. In that kind of case, how should we treat that study? In the book of Art of Apostles, chapter 21, verses 9. Art of Apostles, chapter 21, verses 9. The Bible says, And the same man had four daughters, virgins, which did prophesy. Which, which, which did prophesy. Now, we got to know that in the in the same New Testament, they are women who prophesize. They are women who prophesize in the church. I want to explain to you the reason Paul was saying this. He was saying it to the people of Corinthians that women are not to prophesize in the church. Not only that, they are not to teach in the church. The was given to them because that was given to him about the women. This is what the Bible says. If we want to consider fact that women should not teach what of the women that God called? I have met many women who tell me that God called them to be to have a ministry. Some say that God told them to go and be preaching. Some say that God told them to, to be a prophetess. Now, and Paul said, women are to be silent in the church. What of the people that Tongues and cause on women in the church was the, was the arrogant of the women in the church. Listen, this is what it is limited for women to not to do. There are laws and guide rules that women are not to do in the church, which I'm going to explain to you today. Number one guide rule is this woman cannot be called a pastor. Please listen attentively. Women cannot be called a pastor in the church. 
The reason is because a pastor is a shepherd of a sheep. Now, number two, women cannot be a funder. A top for such funder. If women are if women are to be a founder of a church, then he must be pastoring women only, not man. If she must be a past, if she must be a pastor, then she must be pastoring women only, not man, which means she can have a ministry of a woman, woman ministry, not church. She will she can only call it a ministry. We went to church there. It is not lawful for a woman to pastor to pastor a man. That is the law of God. Number it is not chance on a man. As a woman, you are not permitted to lay hands on a man. If you lay hands on a man, you have committed any errors. These are errors that have been practiced in the church. The church. Women are not permitted. Women are not permitted to lay hands on on a man. Number four. Women are not, I'm explaining this to you. Probably you didn't know. Grace, sharing egg of grace, I mean the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of God, ask who to share it. Even man cannot just share it in the church. That's another hero. Man can also cannot. Eight. The pastor to the grace must be the head of the church, probably the founder, the person who God has chosen as the leader of that church should be the one to share the grace. Are you listening to me? General, it is more common in the church. It is more common in the church that uh, the pastor will say, let us share the grace of the Lord in fellowship. It is a error, big time error in the church. If you look at the book of uh, uh, the New Testament, where Paul was sharing the grace to the church, he was sharing that may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Not may the grace of Jesus Christ be with me. No, be with you. It is a direct, a grace is a kind of a, 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 a kind of coffee that comes directly to God from God to the man of God and to the members. Not from God to the man of God and... No, no, no. So it's going to be from God to the man of God and to the members. So the man of God that must share the grace must be the head of the pastor, the head of the church himself. Any church that you have said... It is in all. I pray that the Lord God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, a woman a pastor, a woman too, it's not possible. Because apostles are specially made for men. A woman cannot be made as an apostle. It is a post for a man, a man post only. Then another thing is this. this. Women, I said it before, women cannot bless man. Lay hands on man. It's not proper. Then, then are you listening to me now? Women cannot finalize prayer in sense of perfect probably. Let's let me make an example. There is a, a church now. Men and women are there, so they are not praying leading prayer. They now say, "Oh yeah, uh, one woman there. Oh yeah, pray to this prayer." They now, they now pray to this. They now say, "Okay, the prayer is." Women cannot finalize. If the woman must pray, the man should pray to end the, should say something to. A 
end the prayer. This should not be practiced. What are the posts that women can take? Post number one, women can be an evangelist. It is a women can be an evangelist. Post number two, women can also be a prophetess. A prophetess. These two calls are the are the calls that women can do. Women can also be deaconess. They can be deaconess. They can be evangelists. They can be prophetess. You cannot be pastor because pastor is a pastor issue. If you are going to be protest, you can go to or evangelist, not pastor. These are errors that is in the church, according to the word of God. Any woman bearing this title against the word of God are on their way to hell. You have to be very careful of how you manage things. If you know you don't know how to act according to the word of God, then it is better to call yourself sister. It is better than you call yourself a sister. I pray you will not end up in hell in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The question is this, can a woman preach in the church? It's another question. It's another question now. Can a woman preach in the church? Can a woman preach in the church? This is the answer for all. A woman can preach in the church. A woman can preach in the church. But don't forget, there cannot be a funder. If you have to be a funder, then make sure that a man is the one heading the church. You cannot head the church. You have to put somebody in your head. If it is a matter of man and woman that is there, you have to put a man to be your head. A woman cannot be funder. It's not possible. It's not biblical. Number two is that a woman, if you have to be funder, then it must be a women's ministry, not man and woman. As it is not proper for you to share the grace and for you to lay hands on a man. I pray you will not go to hell in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Then, another thing that I also want to tell you is that a woman, the question is, can a woman be a teacher? A woman can teach the word of God. It is possible for a woman to teach the word of God. But their teaching must be examined by a male pastor to see how correct it is. The Bible claims, according to the word of God, that is the claim that the Bible was saying. He said, number one, it was because women are weak vessels. Number two, women are, it is from the woman that the fall of Adam came. So these are the reasons. And you, if you look at the Revelation 2, the Bible talks about Jesus, but one visible prophet is there, which was trying to, to confuse and to destroy what God had found. And Jesus Christ has put in the in the in, in the standard of church. So that are the reasons. These are the reasons. I pray the Lord God will help us to make it to heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is a message that Jesus Christ has asked me to give to you today. We are treating errors in the church about the errors that the people are committing in the church. The Lord will bless us and be with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, and God with you. Before you go, please press the notification button so that you can hear more and so that you can know where to be very careful. God bless you and God be with you. Shalom. Bye-bye.